Hello, church. I'm going to share with some of the things with you that I have dealt with in the past when it comes to demonic spirits. First, let me take authority over those unclean spirits in the name of Jesus. I do not want them in my presence. Father, I take authority over all unclean spirits right now in the name of Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. I come against all forces of darkness that may try to move against me in the name of Jesus. I bind you and cast you out into dry and desert places where there is no rest. And you will go in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Church, in my earlier walks with God, I, just like you, went under demonic attacks from things that were coming into my room. And I learned a long time ago that they can move through mirrors. My mother, many years ago, had shared with me that in uh, my brother, I have a twin brother named Donnie. And uh, she said that she heard him screaming about 12 o'clock at night. And she went into the room. She said she saw three black figures coming out of the mirror and they had picked Donnie up and were carrying him back to the mirror and Donnie was screaming. Now my brother Donnie at that time was not saved. He did not know Jesus as his Lord and Savior but he does now. Thank the Lamb of God. Thank you Jesus. And church many times I have seen these black figures that are like shadows that move in the night. You can see them sometimes directly or even at the corner of your eye. And uh, when you see them, you automatically have fear. You do, because you know it is a demon. And church, you have to take authority over those demons. You have to stand up against them in the name of Jesus. You can't allow them to put fear in you or to cause you to doubt, because the more you think about them, the more it gives them a place to dwell, and they dwell and live off of that fear. Church, uh, many, many years ago, I was in my room, and the room got really cold, and I could smell this smell that was disgusting smell. And at that time, it was my early walk with God. I did not know then what I know now. And I was running out of the house because I was scared. I'm not going to lie to you. I was scared. And as I was running down my hallway, I could see this black shadow on the wall running after me. And I went to my sister's house. And I told her what happened. She said, let's go. <laughs> I thank God for my brothers and my sisters. My sister Joyce is spirit-filled just like Preston. And she came over to my house with me with her little girl, Jan. And at that time, my niece was only eight years old. And we went into the room, and church, the room was so cold, you could see your breath in the air. And my sister said, where's your Bible? And I said, right here. So we picked the Word of God up, and we all were touching the Word of God, and we were praying, and we were praying the Lord's Prayer, and we were binding that enemy in the name of Jesus. And then the room came back to normal. And we knew God had given us victory. Church, I had had things in the past get on the bed that they were so heavy where they get on top of you and they press you down and you're so paralyzed with fear you think you cannot move. I know, church. I went through that. They don't do that to me today. They try that mess. They know I'll rise up with the boldness of God and take authority over them in the name of Jesus. They don't try that mess no more. No, they don't. Because I tell you, I don't take it. Now I'm going to share something else with you. I shared this with a dear sister, Amy, uh, yesterday. A friend of mine named Carmen that I love dearly. She was telling me that she went under attack one night. So her and her husband got out of bed and they turned on the lamp. And they went to the end of the bed and they got on their hands and knees and they were praying to God. And her husband said, look. And they looked up on the shadow on the wall and they could see their shadows. But they also saw another shadow on the wall. It was the angel of the Lord. He had his wings stretched out, praise God. He had his arm around them. Church, the angel was kneeled down beside them, praying with them. He was 
praying over them. He had his arm around them. Praise God. And I will never forget that. Remember, church, no matter where you are, God sees it. God sees and knows everything. And he will give his angels charge over you. Amen. Amen. There is victory today, church. We don't have to accept anything the enemy is attacking us with. God has given us everything we need to win this battle. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to win. In Jesus Christ, most holy, holy name. God bless you, church.